Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be looking at a case study on dynamic parameterization. So in the last video, we looked at a simple example of dynamic parameterization. And one of the things that I mentioned was that it might be useful if we could dynamically parameterize a test based on the contents of some file. And the reason why this might be a good idea is because it helps us avoid having to go in and modify our source code every time we add or change, say, some configurations of tests that we have. So it could be a useful thing if we define our tests inside of a separate file, like a text file or a JSON file or a YAML file. And then we had PyTest simply create test variants based on the contents of this file. So that's what we're going to be looking at today with this simple example. And we can start out by opening up this file, testdynamicparam.py. And this contains um, our exact same two Python functions from last time. We have our square function, which just squares some number, and then our test for a square function called test square. Now, the thing that we're going to dynamically parameterize is this initial value, right? And we talked about last time how we could add, say, a parameter to our parameter list of our test. And then we could use that hook of PyTest generate tests to dynamically parameterize it. But now we'll, what we want to do this time is have the uh, different values that we want to sweep over for this parameter come from, say, a file. So how exactly would we do something like that? So let's go ahead and open up our conftest.py file and see exactly how that's implemented here. So inside of this file, we have two hooks this time. So in addition to our PyTest generate tests that we're going to be using to dynamically parameterize our test, we're going to use this PyTest add option uh, hook that we looked at a couple of videos ago. So the option that we're going to be adding is an option for an input file, right? And this is the file that's going to contain, say, um, our test variants or the actual uh, data that we want to use to parameterize our test. So we'll go ahead and add this input file option and we'll say that we want to store the value. We'll just put a blank string as a default, right? So we won't default to a specific uh, input file. And then we'll just put the help message of choose an input file. Now, below that, we have our PyTest generate tests hook. And this is what we're going to use to dynamically parameterize our test. So just like last time, the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that initial value, our parameter down here, is in the fixture names of our test. Um, which it is in this case. Then inside of here, we're going to go ahead and get the value from our PyTest option that we added using metafunk.config.get option for input file. Now below that, we're going to read in the contents of that file and transform it into a list of ints, right? So we're gonna to check to see if the file exists. Then we're going to open it, read out the lines, and then we're going to um, unpack that data and casting uh, whatever the string is on each line to an int. Then at the very bottom down here, we're going to parameterize our test with metafunk.parameterize. We're going to parameterize the perimeter initial value with our data that we just unpacked from that file. Okay, so now we have a situation where we can specify an input file from the command line, and then PyTest will dynamically parameterize our test, test square in this case, using that data. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of here and let's take a look at some sample input data that we're gonna be using. In here, it's just stored in a text file, but in reality, we could store this in whatever we want. We could put it in a JSON file, we could put it in a YAML file and have PyTest do all the unpacking that we want. So inside of here, we just have a whole bunch of int uh, integers on new lines, right? So one through nine here. So that's what PyTest is going to be uh, reading in, or rather, we're going to be reading in inside of our hook. So we'll go ahead and quit out of here, and we can do PyTest dash dash help, and we can go ahead and see our command line option that we added called input file, which just says choose an input file uh, as our help message that we added. So if we don't specify anything or any file, remember that our option was just going to return an empty string. So if we do PyTest, dash dash, um, say collect only for test dynamic param.py, 
we can see that it collects only a single test and we get this kind of weird test ID of initial value zero. So we didn't really get an initial value here because our uh, PyTest generate test hook parameterized um, it, uh, initial value with just an empty list. So even if we try to run this, right, we can see that our single test is skipped, right? Because we had a function that basically had no arguments, right? That we tried to call. So it just ends up being skipped. Now we can change this by specifying our input file with our input data. So we can do pytest dash dash, or rather pytest test dynamic param, and then dash dash input underscore file, and then our input.txt. And we can go ahead and just run collection first. So we can do dash dash collect only. And we can see that we got all of our parameters that we specified in our input.txt file. So one through nine. And we can see that if we go ahead and open up input.txt and maybe delete the first three entries, and go ahead and save this and we run collection again, we can see that those entries no longer exist in our parameterization. So now we have a single location that we can modify um, and change how our tests get parameterized. Okay, so let's go ahead and change that back. And then we can, of course, just run our test, getting rid of this collect only. And we can see that all nine of our variants defined in that input file get collected and they run and they complete successfully. Okay, so this is just a brief example or a case study on how we can use multiple hooks to uh, do something like uh, dynamically parameterize the test based upon you know, configurations that are in some external file. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this time. As always, you can find out more about things like dynamic parameterization on docs.pytest.org. So I'll put a link to that official documentation below the video. You can find out more about this and the other examples that we've looked at in this series at github.com slash copy before arch in the PyTest repository. And then you can also find a guide on uh, dynamic parameterization, including this example, um, under the PyTest guide repository on my GitHub. And I'll link to that below the video as well. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this time. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you had a nice day.